Two hot ones. Whoop whoop. Let's do it. You're out of it. Are you ready for this? No. Well, so the first sauce we got is... Inferno Garlic Del Fuego. Yeah, Garlic Del Fuego. Boom boom. Right, I'm what I'm going to do for mine, I'm going to... I'm gonna dunk it on like next to the wings. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! I don't like hot sauce as it is. This is oh, it smells so bad, dude. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna give it away. I'm just gonna give it away. Pour on top. Oh yeah, I should do that actually. Oh, it's so it just spilled everywhere. <laughs> I got a question for you. Yeah. So this is the first question. Why did you run run for the position you're in now? Do you want me to bite now and then answer, or it's not nice, is it? No. no. <laughs> it's not hot though. It's got tang to it. That's not nice. During my last year, I was studying at UCS. I was really involved with um, setting up some of the social events that the SU put on um, because I worked in the venue that um, the SU used. So I was heavily involved with the Halloween events, refreshers, and our drag night event, and they were all really, really successful. Which is really really fun, um, and I suppose I just wanted to continue having that sort of influence on like this um, the social aspect of university life because um, our students deserve to have that sort of student experience. So it was originally largely done to that, but as the year went on, I realised there was so much more. So I just kind of wanted to really give the students what they deserved in terms of representation. Um, within the wider CSU family, kind of bring Shrewsbury to the forefront of the CSU family like it should be. Why did you run for this role, Mr. Sama? So, why well, I ran for it, I was actually motivated to go for it at the start by my friends, because I was a bit 50-50 about going for it. I, I was unsure, but uh, I had some motivation for my friends, which led to a, a successful campaigning team. Um, and I, I just felt ideas I had could make Warrington campus Better, like better for the students, like a bigger student experience. And my, my plan was to get more social activities, and we, we have quite a lot of activities on there. But yeah, I just felt like I could improve it for the students, like get that student experience better. Mm -hmm. you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I feel at the minute it's going well. I just had to take a drink of water. <laughs> I had a wee bit of milk there just to cleanse the pile a bit. You had some milk? Mm -hmm. My milk's unopened yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, power through. Bit of lemonade to cleanse the palate here for the next one. Uh, that wasn't. I didn't like the taste of it, but it wasn't too bad. Even it wasn't that hot. No, it was a bit mild, I think. But that's yeah. the lowest one. We've got we've got five more to go through. We've got five more to. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Are you yeah. enjoying it, Shrewsbury? I'm loving it. I'm I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. It's, it's obviously with COVID, it's a bit harder, but I'm just. Being around the students and seeing my impact first time, it's just it's really nice. Sauce number two is Fiery Diablo. Yeah, Fiery Diablo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is uh, red, hot, and something heat. I can't read that. Red, hot. And extreme heat, grip. And extreme heat. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Just don't smell them. I've, I've dunked it on. I'll give it a shake. Oh, it's dripped down. It's just dripped onto my two other two other of my wings. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, do you have a question? I do have a question. If you could be one movie character, who would you be and why? Movie character. Mm. You know what? Uh, I would have to say. <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? I pull the. <laughs> I would have to say Willy Wonka for Charlie and Chocolate Factory because I feel like. I'm really creative as an individual. Mm -hmm. I'm always open. I'm open-minded as well. Like, if you know me, I know like I do a lot of things. So bad. It's not nice, is it? <laughs> this one's a bit hotter as well. I can feel the tang on this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'd say uh, Willy Wonka from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory mm -hmm. uh, because I'm open-minded and I'm full of good ideas. As I was campaigning, my um, slogan was hashtag Sam with the plan. And it was a creative plan. <coughs> I just, <coughs> just choked on my milk. <coughs> what like. character would you be and why? I'd like to be Thor. Because I just think that'd be really fun. Like, Thor. yeah, you've had it, he's had it rough the last couple movies. Like, he's watched his planet die, and his dad die, and his mom die, and his brother die. It's a bit, a bit sad. But, 
He just seems to be like a joyful puppy. I don't imagine having that personality. It'd be really nice. Have you just spoiled all the Thor films for the people watching? If they haven't seen it. Yeah, if you all haven't seen the Thor, the Thor films or Avengers Endgame or Infinity War, like it's too late now. It's been out for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Thor is pretty cool as well. He's a pretty cool character. He's a boss. Well, that's kind of hot, that one was. That's not too bad. It was a... I'm, I don't think I'm any good with spices. I think that's my problem. I'm not ready for this, this next three, four. These next four are like high in the scope levels. Yeah. I'm not excited for this. Like, let's go to Skull on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Next one, isn't it? Blaze, uh, Harbinara Pepper. Right, are you ready for this one? I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dab it on. Then if you can, oh, it's just gone everywhere. I've just dabbed it on. Oh it's no. I'm trying to like hold it into the camera, but make it not drip. Right, I've got a question for you. Yes. What is your proudest moment while working at the university so far? I'm gonna answer that after a bite. Oh, the sauce isn't very nice. Woo! 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 That's going right on my tongue. Oh! That's tingly. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's that hot. is hot. That's hot. Oh. Okay, right. It was difficult. What was the question again? <laughs> what, is, what is your proudest moment while working at the university so far? The bits and pieces that I've done so far to kind of cheat. Oh my god. It has, it has a second kick. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah, um, <laughs> just seeing like the, the little actions have impact. So even moving downstairs to where we are now has given the students just a bit more freedom on the ground floor of the building. The shooting up down scheme has just given students the lay of the land in Shrewsbury. So there's eight businesses now that have signed up to the shooting up down scheme, which has been amazing. Oh my god, <laughs> you struggling there? A little bit. It's bad. Oh my god. The more I talk, the spicier it gets. <laughs> but yeah, no, just seeing those little actions like really take impact with the students. It's just been really, really, really rewarding. And Freshers Week, Games Night. Games Night was a really difficult event to set up and like logistically. And once it pulled off, it was really, really fun. Been quite a few recently, and yeah, it's, it's burning my tongue a little bit when I speak. I would say the increase of activities across the campus. Yeah. At least, at least once a week, there'll be an activity going on. Mm-hmm. students get involved and another proud moment was was that when I was asking fresher students how they're settling in and they said they're really enjoying themselves um, and they're happy so I think that was a proud moment for me and there's quite a few uh, there's been an increase in socials at Warrington campus as well uh, not socials sorry societies mm-hmm. at Warrington campus and it, yeah it's, it's, it's good to see like people out and about doing activities which we have put in place obviously distant that's my proudest moment. The feedback from fresh, uh, fresher students has been amazing. On to the next one. Explosive hot sauce. That one, that one was kind of hot. So, and that's only the third one in. That's yeah, the- I think this one's gonna hurt. So that's that one. Explosive. Boom boom. Do you dare to smell it? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> no. Hell no. <laughs> oh, this red. Right, stab. Just a bit, just a little dabbing. Oh, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> How much do you reckon I should put on? I only put that much on. I've got. Can you see that? Yeah. That wants to drip onto the computer. Sam, what is your dream job? My dream job. Yeah. Oh. Um. What was that? No, it was nice, but it's really. Wait till you get the time. Wait till you get the kick. You don't feel it that? No, that was nice. Oh, I got them. Ah, hot. My dream job is working at Manchester United as a football coach. Maybe the head coach in the future, who knows. But yeah, working at Manchester United. One, I support them. Two, I did a coaching degree. And three, I love football. So that's my dream job. Working alongside Sol- Solskjaer with Man United. You're rushing your speaking to just run right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. I've, st- I've, I've not finished it yet, I've still got some. What about you, Adam? What is your dream job? I like selling things. Like, I've always been really good with like selling product and making, tar- and making targets. So when I worked on the bar, we had uh, we had upsell targets we had to make. And I never drop below 90%. So that kind of thing, I've always been good at just selling stuff. Um, 
I'd like to either get into selling brands, so we'll become a marketing executive for a big brand name. Uh, I think the best, the brands most suited me would be something to do with music, because I just love music. Or just come, some kind of out there brand. I don't really like basic things. <laughs> so I feel like I, me using any experience I've got so far, I'll be able to bring that to the table. I think that'll just be really fun, because it's a really competitive, competitive adrenaline fuel environment as well. And I need that in my life. I can't, I don't like sitting and doing nothing day to day. I need to be busy. So, yeah. So Rachel from Friends work at um, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren for a oh. long time. That's still tang. That's still on my tongue. That one. Well, uh, I've just had a wee, I've just had a wee bit of milk just to. I've nearly finished my first cartridge. I only got one cup. Oh, it's like nearly finished. Because we've got two left, and these are like the high ones. Kaboom! It looks like toxic waste. Look at it. It does. It, it looks horrendous. Look at that. Oh my god. You can see the bits in it. You can see the bits in it. Alright, you're gonna smell. I don't want to. It's not that bad. It's bad. It's bad. My lips are burning like hell. Yeah, my lips are burning as well. Give it a wee. Mm -hmm. There it is. Do you see it on there? It looks so gross. There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna take a bite and then ask you the question. Okay. I'm, get, I'm waiting for your reaction first. That looks pretty chill, okay. That one's not too bad. It's bad. It's just, it's just yeah, kicked in. So what is your favourite part about working at the CSU? This thing is gross. All we've done today is ruin a good set of wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we've done right now. Crummer artery. Because the officer team are just both legends. Um, I don't really like working with everybody. The opportunities that we have for students is one of them because just planning the events, like our, like Black History Month has been a really, for what we could do with COVID and restrictions and stuff. Black History Month has been a really big success and there's been a lot of things for students that have been on, mm. um, which is really, really amazing. Freshers Week, especially, was really, really fun. And then looking forward, um, Halloween week, which is going to be great, and then November. November is big. We've got massive, massive plans for students across all campuses, and just seeing projects like that come together is my favorite part of working for CSU. Just seeing those big campaigns and those big projects actually come to fruition. Huge, and it's, it's it's really nice to see as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what it's the way students can get involved as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, with that campaign, we would. Yeah. Um, Union on tour is a big one as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Union Tour is a way to get involved, a way to send, give feedback to us mm -hmm. uh, officers. Yes, by the way, guys, this was this is out on the 5th of November, but we recorded it in October. We That's did. what we're talking about Halloween. But oh. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that we got Mo Movember. There'll be uh, a big campaign which me and Daniel are running. That's a way to get involved. There'll be virtual sessions, activities for you to all take part in. It's, it's, it's just really engaging. Uh, my favorite, my favorite part when it's this year is uh, it's a chance when you when you get to, when you get to see students every day and you get to speak to students every day. Like I, I, I speak to a different student pretty much every day when like coming in and out of lectures and it's it's good it's good to get feedback and obviously as Adam said as you said I really enjoy working with the elected officers as well and the whole CSU team in general. I think it's a brilliant and amazing experience and I've really enjoyed my time. Yeah. So far, last but certainly not least, the hottest one we have. My nose is running a little bit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Mariachi de la Fuego. Now this is the hottest one. Yeah. So now I'm a little bit. Like, do you ever see that? Watch that movie, uh, Coco. It's the same kind of like artwork. It's really cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, that one smells right. Oh, have you gave it away? Oh no. No! <gasps> I put way too much on. Let me see. <laughs> it's dripping. Okay, I'll, I'll put that much on too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh I, my god! <laughs> watch the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what I've heard is there's no, there's no turning back after this one. You ready? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. It, what does it taste like? Two, it's incredibly hot. Three, it's burning my throat. Ugh. Move, it's down my throat. Ugh. Come on, clean the wing. Clean the wing. Ah. Uh, what, what was the question? What is your dream festival lineup? Woo! My what? My, my what? Dream festival lineup. Dream festival lineup. Um. So. Um. 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 um, um. That burns like hell. Wow. Uh, dream festival lineup. Uh, I'm I'm into my rap music, so I've got to say Juice World. He's not here, but it is a dream festival lineup, so I'm allowed to say him. Juice World, Bobby Williams. Yes, I like Bobby Williams. Oh! Hang on. Hang on. I've got no more milk. I've got no more milk. I've got... I've got... I'm onto my next card. I'm, my eyes are watering. Uh, one more, one more. Who have I said? Juice World, Robbie Williams, and, and... And, 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 and... You know what? I'm going to go with um, Lil Wayne. Bit of old school. That's hurt. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did we do this? Whose idea was this? Your idea. No, it was my idea. Whose idea was it? I'm gonna blame you. Whew. What about your new festival lineup? Oh, it's still, t- it's still I bad. Like, I like my emo music, but I also like my hip hop, but I also got a little bit of like pop. So, oh my god. Ah. They're pretty reckless, cause Taylor Monson's amazing. Black Bear. Because it's Black Bear. And I'm at their school because I love Brandon Gary. <sighs> who's, that, who's the last one? What did you say? Panic at the disco. Oh, Panic at the disco. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> the sprite's making it worse, but it also helps in the short term. Well, oh, I'm done. This no, is very, so very smart. Nice bet. Have you got through them all? Yeah. <sighs> so, <laughs> so, I can students get involved just to wrap up with. So, they can vote who they thought took it better, who took the uh, hot spicy wings with hot sauce on better. Uh-huh. It wasn't. I, 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 I don't admit it wasn't me. Oh my god. It could have been, it could have been you. Yeah, you can comment who won. Um, results will be out some of the time. Keep tuning in yeah. each week. Check in on our social medias for different events and campaigns. Yep. Uh, there's a lot going on, so make sure you follow Chester like follow Chester Students Union on Instagram, and also like the Facebook page Chester Students Union. And Shrewsbury Students Union as well. Shrewsbury Students Union, that's the one. Yeah. And um, yeah. Well done, Adam. I think we took it like champs. I feel like we smashed it. Tune in next week for a no mirror makeup challenge. Yes, no mirror makeup challenge. A no mirror makeup challenge where Sam and I have to do a full beat without a mirror. Comment who you think won. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you. See you soon. See you soon.